at those pennants? Seems like the Vox have chosen their favorite color. Seems about right. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. I was just looking through a telescope I missed earlier, uh, and uh, right next to the uh, the graveyard over here. So there we go, 28 out of 37, nine left. So we're right next to the uh, the Lady Comstock Memorial Gardens on the left, and the memorial statue over here. We're still following Lady Comstock's ghost footprints. And we're gonna have to uh, loop this entire area and start to explore a bit more. So there's three vending machines over here. Let's uh, possess the lot of them. There we go, giving us a bit more money. Thank you very much, thank you very much, and thank you. And then, I'm gonna check out the weapon molds because we haven't checked those out in a while. Um, not gonna boost the pistol anymore, we're not gonna have much use for that anyway. Do we have a bit of a damage boost for the machine gun, maybe? I don't think there is, but we have a damage boost for the repeater. Which might not be so bad, because there's a lot of the, uh, weapon molds here. And I just want to pick the ones that I'm going to use. So the carbine, the carbine will be used. I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now. And let's check out this, um, maybe shock duration. Or crow's boost. Crow's boost. Let's go for crow's boost. I'm just going to use the crow's a bit more. Here's some cats. Uh, so let's go back to crow's. Cats. Catch that. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. And swap back to bucking bronco and see what else we can do with that. I think most of these guys... Oh, that one was carrying something. I was going to say most of these guys are empty, but... Apparently not. What was that? No. Okay. Never mind. Let's keep going and go to downtown Emporia. Because that's where the uh, the footsteps are still going. The footprints. So now we're over there. So we took the entire loop around and then past the Memorial Gardens to Comstock House. And now we're heading towards the bank, photo studio and Harmony Lane. So uh, let's keep going and check out what other secrets we can uncover through the stairs. What is a life compared to a fake? Kill him! Kill him! So now we have another uh, fight over here. Just gonna start firing at the back of this... Um... Seriously? There we go. So these guys start freaking out about me. There we go. And since that thing is still... Okay. A bit more crows on their asses. And I think we're gonna go for a shotgun. Ooh. Where is the... What the hell just happened? Oh, there he is! Jesus. Did he just... Oh, he exploded. Never mind. I was in, under the impression he was still up there, but apparently he jumped down. That was actually pretty quick, because there was a Patriot and a Fireman over here. But we got out of there pretty much unscathed. Um, so this is a bit of a, a, a bit of an open area, not really much around here. A few shops, as we've uh, seen before already. So I'm just going to loot the place a bit, get the more interesting weapons, just as his uh, sniper rifle that's hidden over here, if I want to pick it. Pick it up, for Christ's sake, thank you. Okay, so let's loot the place and I'll see you guys in a second. We have another locked gate, one probably one of the shops. No signs outside, apparently, so... Got it. Cafe New Eden. So that's probably what this is, although it looks like a painter shop. It's a piece of gear here, so let's look at that. Nor'easters. Killing an enemy from a skyline gives 50% chance of brief invulnerability. That is part of a very interesting set of gear. Uh, I'm not going to equip it just yet, I'm just going to take it. But later on I'm going to start equipping most of that gear because it's probably one of the, well, the bigger, the most important pieces of gear. So let's pick up the Voxophone from uh, Comstock himself. In front of all the men, the sergeant looked at me and said, Your family tree shelters a TP or two, doesn't it, son? This lie! This calumny had followed me all my life. From that day, no man truly called me comrade. 
It's only when I burnt the teepees with the squaws inside that they take me as one of their own. Only blood can redeem blood. So we know in the Battle of Wounded Knee that Comstock, uh, well, helped murder a lot of uh, Indians. Uh, Native Americans, as you would call them. And, um, yeah, he, he had to live with the, well, to him, apparently, the lie that there were a few uh, Native Americans in his family. Uh, that he need, felt the need to prove himself and, well, burn women alive in their tents for some reason. Yeah. If you didn't know it already, Comstock is a horrible person. So let's use possession of all of these machines again. I'm gonna loot a bit more, so uh, I'll see you guys in a second. So, continuing on, let's go into the photo... Uh, well, the, 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 the photo shop? Photography shop? Because uh, one of the secrets is actually in here. So let's open that up. Okay. And see what is inside. Because this is, this is uh, pertaining to the Latessis. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna quite a phonograph here. I don't know why people always leave these on, but for Christ's sake, turn off your music when you leave your shop. Let's open up the tear. But you two are dead. I took your funeral photo. Yes, and made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect a picture of one's cause. It's come across so lifelessly. There we go. I, I thought you guys were dead. Real Lady Comstock. I think she's. I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry at her and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also partly me. I, I'm not even sure I understand it myself. So, if I would want to explain this a bit, it's that. Elizabeth already told us that her opening tear is, ki tears is kind of a sort of wish fulfillment. That she puts a little bit of what she wants to happen in what actually happens. And since she's so angry at her, well, at Lady Comstock, because it's not her mother, we know that now. Um, she combined that into the furious anger that now co is contained within the Lady Comstock ghost. So that's uh, kind of the explanation for it. So let's pick up the foxophone of the photographer. Insanity. What proof would you have that Mr. Fink would hurt the Lutesses? The Lutesses told me. The Lutesses? When? Yesterday. Yesterday morning. Rupert! They've been dead these seven days. So, the Lutesses appeared to Mr. Cunningham over here after their funeral. So, they've been dead for seven days. Um... And that's also something new as well. We didn't know that the Lutesses were supposed to be dead. Um, meaning that if that is actually the case, they might as well be alive in that the same way we've seen a lot of people around Colombia already. Uh, that could also explain, maybe, why they're kind of, well, everywhere at once. That explanation is going to come later on, but that's our first guess at it. The locksmith bag is over here as well. But yeah... They seem, everybody thinks they're dead, but they clearly are not. So let's get back outside and go towards our final secret, which is actually inside of the Bank of the Prophet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it loops over there, but I think we're going to go over here, yeah. Here we go. Bit of booze, but there's nothing else around here, I think. So the bank is one of the final areas we have uh, haven't been to yet. How's the city going to come back from this? Maybe it shouldn't. Because this entire place is going up in flames. Still, lovely view at uh, Comstock House where we need to go eventually. Um, and a lot of people being executed again. Completely empty, of course, because why would they Sniper! leave something on it? Sniper, indeed. Because usually you could, you would enter this area the other way around. Oh, wow. Yeah, stop the music, why don't you? Just gonna try and get a shot on him. He's over. There we go. Just wanna take out the snack on myself. Because if we enter. Yeah, the, the music is starting and stopping constantly. Um, can we. Go ahead. Let's activate the decoy over there. Because that's just another Booker the Witch for some reason. I think there's a few people up there. Yeah. 
Okay, I shot his face because he's bloodied, but there we go. It's probably better. Two sniper rifles down, and I think I can actually... No, 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 no. Why do I keep doing that? Let's swap to another Vigor. Let's go with Shock Jockey for now. I think I can actually reach that if I want to. Oh, fuck off. I'm right in front of you, dude. So that's that. Um, so normally you would enter this area from the other side. because I told you this before. This entire area loops around on itself. Um, where the hell... Who the hell are you? Uh, hello? You're not supposed to be here. That is weird. Huh. Let's open this up. That won't take but a minute. Because uh, there's a few more items in there, if I'm not mistaken. All done. There we go. Oh yeah, right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> One angry man, apparently. We just got a shotgun to the face. Uh, let's pick up the health kits, because we lost a bit of health because of the sniper just shooting me out of the blue. Um... That's that. It's not really what we're here for, but anyway, I'm gonna grab all that. And let's go upstairs and just pick up the gear piece. Hill Runner's Hat. Shield breaking increases movement speed 50% faster for 5 seconds. It's not really useful for me, but uh, let's take it nonetheless. Still don't know why this guy is here. That's a bit old, but yeah, never mind. Uh, I think there's a few, yeah, we could get some sniper rifle ammo, but I think that's pretty much it. So there we go, let's, uh, there's another building we can actually enter here, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right over here. Locked. Another hairpin was even. Child's play. Child's play, well just open All it yours. up Elizabeth, don't get too cocky about it. Emporia Towers exclusive shopping luxurious living. So if you go in here, we can actually get a bit of uh, nice loot because there's a lot of money lying around here. Especially because all the people in here were freaking rich. Um, so now we they come into the building. No, no. What states? And then I don't know how much combinations we can actually make. Because now we can actually just... Uh, what haven't we done here? I've combined pretty much everything now. Yeah, I did, right? Could shock him again, but... Ah, there, we have, we didn't do that yet, apparently. Because there is a trophy to do all the combination, just want to try and do everyone. No, that was... Not everyone. Everything, every combination. I don't want to do everyone. Let's ignore that. Um, is there anything in... Oh, okay, I'm getting shocked. Is there anything around here? I thought there might have been something in the... Nope, nope. Completely wrong here. Completely wrong. So let's go back outside. I don't think there's any more enemies, no? Okay. And let's go towards the bank, because that's our uh, final objective for now. Uh, ooh. Three more vending machines. That's money for me. So, the Vox still have a pretty tight grip on every area around here. Ooh, lockpick. Oh, lockpick. And salts! Because I used a lot of possession uh, lately. Still going on the right track, because the footsteps are still going over there. So now we are at the end of Harmony Lane. So almost back at the center area. And now we can open that up from over here. What are you seeing? You seeing anything? Because I don't see anything into that in that toolbox. So let's open this up and you'll Help probably this remember this area because this is where I died against that uh, handyman again. Right over here, so we're back at the center area. I don't think anybody respawned here. Thank God, but I might have actually not said anything about this building either. Because it's uh, right over here. This big staircase in the middle is actually the bank of the Prophet. So uh, now we can see... Oh, Jesus, motherfucker! Let's go on here, guys. And there we go. Over there, and, and a skyline strike in the bucket. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice. 
fuck all of you guys. Perfect. I want to leave. Salts, don't really need that. I think there's med kits over there, right? Oh, did I use all of them up already? Oh, wow! He just kicked me off. I'm actually gonna switch to return to sender. Where are there more health kits? I'm actually thinking about over there. Is there anything here? Volley gun, RPG, salts. No health kits? Great. Great. Where are these guys? Yeah, there's a fireman. Was that right next to me? There goes one. And they always have health kits. We will? I don't think we will. Come on, get on there. Goodbye. I think that's far enough. Let's see how that goes. He didn't die from that. He did die from that, though. That was, um, something. Yeah, I would. Seriously? I'm just gonna land over there because I want to check his, uh, his corpse, of course. There we go. Another lockpick and full health and salts. I think the other one. Where's the freaking? Is that where the crow died? Yeah, that was it. That was it. Just needed most of that. Do I pick up another machine gun? Let's do that. I'm just gonna, just gonna run around with that a bit. So that kind of scared the f fuck out of me. Didn't, didn't really expect those guys to just burst outside of the bank. But let's head in here because this is a pretty big area. Because it's a pretty big building. So okay, this bit. You wanna, you wanna stop? Walking against my face. Okay, thank you. What could this place have to do with my mother? Well, more than you can, more than you think, Elizabeth. More than you think. So let's head inside. That was creepy. Cause yeah, woman, please stop doing that. I think we checked all these out because there's the same. Yeah, so this is the same three kinetoscopes as there are in the, the Blue Ribbon, the first restaurants we, we got all those upgrades from, from the Industrial Revolution pack. Um, empty trash cans. And let's head inside of the elevator. And a lot of people were murdered in here as well. Um, let's push the... Where's the button? There's the button. Leave area. Short elevator ride and we're... Uh, inside this lovely area look at this but now of course this is a very very big area and as you can see there's a vox populi in here that guy lost his head all right so let's use a uh, return to sender to just uh, kill all these guys come on fire fire Wow, what the hell is happening? There was, there was one over here. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, that's the power of Return to Sender. I just used, practically only used that. And I don't still know where that shock is coming from. But I'm not gonna complain, because that was both brutal and amazing. So I'm just gonna loot this entire lower area because there's a lot of money lying around here for some reason. What's that? Fifty percent of everything people earn here goes right to Comstock as a tithe. 
I gotta get me a job in the profit business. There we go. So uh, Comstock, not only a, a very bad leader, but he's also uh, draining his people from all of their well-earned money. So let's. Uh, I'm gonna loot this place. So see you guys in a second. Footsteps seem to go down to the vault. Footsteps seem to be going down to the vault, but I'm still looting. So give me a second. <laughs> So looting this entire place is really, really worth it because you're uh, getting around a thousand silver eagles from uh, looting pretty much everything. I think the footsteps are going over there towards the vault, but I think this kind of loops in both directions. Well, I guess we're going to see. Um, let's go over here. Seems to be looping... Hmm. Because this is this is one of the more the creepier areas in the in the game, because um, they keep you on edge constantly. Because yeah, right now it's quiet, but there's uh, a lot of strange things going on in the bank at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I know I know where we are now, because uh, we're right next to the uh, cipher where we got the code book for. Let's look at the gear. New shirt, executioner, melee strikes against staggered enemies at 60% chance to critical hit. Victims take 25% more damage when struck. Not really something we're gonna use, but would be very nice for a, a melee build or something like that. So just using the skyhook for uh, hitting things. Silver eagles, more money, as though we don't have enough of that yet already. Because we can always use more money, of course. Uh, and everything else that is searchable. I think that's pretty much it. And if we go into the next room over, we actually get um, another, uh, well, gruesome scene of uh, somebody that has been executed over here, shot in the face. But this is also the place where we get that cipher, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Type three letters to spell the voice. Three letters. V O X. Vox. Try the typewriter. Because Vox is Latin for voice uh, of the, and of course, of pop populi is of the people. So uh, Vox populi is the voice of the people. So Vox, V O X, and that opens up a secret compartment in this, uh, in the bank. And of course, being this being the bank, this is a uh, very, very profitable because there's an infusion. Let's pick that up. Health infusion. Uh, a locksmith bag, a voxophone, let's listen to that, from Lady Comstock. I know the Prophet is a liar, but he cannot be. I know the Prophet is a murderer, but he cannot be. For if the future lies only in the imagination of God, why would he reveal it to such a monster? Why would he reveal it to such a monster? So Lady Comstock, realizing that, yeah, Zachary Comstock, so her husband, has been lying to her all the time and uh, has done some pretty horrible things. And uh, yeah, it's quite a different tone than, well, the, the, the very first foxophone of her that we found, in which she, uh, well, she praises him to high heaven. And uh, yeah, she started to realize what kind of man he was, he is, he still is, and um, well, she started to regret that. Did you see that move over there? Something, something moved over there. Just gonna go up here really quickly because I don't know. A bit of money. Does this open up? No, this doesn't open up. It doesn't seem like there's any anything else around here either. So let's just go a bit further. We're starting to get into. Uh, Safe territory, so uh, there's a lot of uh, saves around here. Can't really open that up if I'm mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, there's not really much here because, of course, these things are completely locked tight. And there we have another zealot. Just gonna quickly swap back to return to Sandy. Um, Join the fight! Uh, slaughter ya! Cut him off! Sniper Booker! Oh god. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? 
then we're gonna have to find uh, a way to take out the sniper. Which of course we're gonna do with... Uh... Holy shit! He just went for it, didn't he? That was... Very quickly. No health? Okay. Great. That was straight in the face. But we didn't fight the, the zealot that we just saw. So uh, we're gonna have to uh, watch out for him as well. Ooh, more lockpicks. Wait. You hold on to this. That's that's two lockpicks normally. Because she's actually looking lock at them picks. as well. We can always use more of them. Can't pick them up. Can't really pick them up. Nope. No problem for it. Okay. Never mind. Uh, let's search this guy. This unfortunate guy over there. Huh, I hate that I lost that much health to that sniper. Just gonna eat my fill again. Stuffing uh, Booker's face with bananas, pears, pieces of bread. Everything he can get his hands on to just heal again. I think Booker, by the end of this, uh, this uh, uh, well, journey, he's gonna be a really, really fat guy. There we go, help me, thank you very much. Uh, and then, of course, the sniper. Give me those bullets back. There we go. Yeah, we're full health, so that's not gonna help us out anymore. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Or do you do you see something? No, she's just uh, looking at some stuff. And there goes the guy again. I don't know why they would pull your attention to that corpse if there's something gonna happen in front of you. Uh, but I think we're now at the safe. Yeah, we're pretty much at the safe because the wall has been blown open here. And uh, there's the tear we've been looking for. And the zealot is having a really, really fun time over there. Just walking back and forth. A uh, bit more health, more health. The yeah, so, so, people are keeping food in these cabinets for some reason. And there's uh, another piece of gear. Spectral sidekick. Dropping a weapon creates a ghostly ally for a few seconds. A really, really fun one. But it's instead of Headmaster, and I really like Headmaster. Um, so let's just take it. So every time you Grab switch weapons... We might need it later. Ooh, it's a bag. Oh. Would I be full? Is there a limit to how many lockpicks lock picks you can carry? Probably. Because, yeah, I can't pick those up either. That is interesting. Never realized there was a limit to how many lockpicks you could carry. So there we go. And of course we know who to expect now, so I'm just gonna go with a bit of uh, heavier stuff, maybe shock jockey. There we go. Do we need to? F I think we need to fight him first, preferably. Where is he? Just gonna. Can we listen to that? Okay then. Let's just open the tear first. Then. Oh no! 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 Jesus! Motherfucking Christ! Jackass! Oh shit. Where is his loot box? Where the... Okay then, there's something going on. I'm not getting any loot anymore, but yeah. Let's uh, open up the stair and listen. And if I do this, this uh, sabotage, all their patents, all of them, is to think. Now, why does the Prophet want these two killed? For the same reason Lady Comstock lies buried. Child. And why does he want me to do it? Because only you can make it seem an accident. Only you can make it seem an accident. Let's listen to the Foxophone first now. Before I elaborate on that. The Archangel tells me that Columbia will only survive so long as my line sits the throne. Yet Lady Comstock produces no child. I have done what a man can do, yet there is no child. I've asked Lutessa about the matter, but even she refuses to help. Even she refuses to help, but Elizabeth came to be anyway. So somehow he found a child that is his blood, technically. But not in this timeline. So we can kind of assume that Comstock found a way to find a dimension where he has a child and just, well, 
took that version of, uh, of, of his child. Because, yeah, he can't make one in this dimension, so he found another child. That kind of fits the same description. Um, the other thing is that Comstock, we saw that from the tear, Comstock um, ordered Fink to kill the Letessus, because that was uh, the two he was talking about, and made it look like an accident. Um, and that's why uh, my Fink got all the patents for uh, whatever the Letessus uh, made, and that's why I think became such a wealthy man as, as well. Because every invention that the Letessus made could now be sell could now be sold by uh, Fink in one of his companies. So um, that's the deal he made with Comstock. And we also get the final confirmation that Comstock got uh, ordered his own wife killed as well. So there we go. Um, there's the, the safe door. Just gonna look around these areas to the side and give me a second. So I can confirm that 30 lockpicks is probably the max because now I uh, used a few and I can do it again. And there's the giant safe door opening up on its own. And we can hear the uh, the ghost lady again. I think I'm just gonna fire from here. Please lady, come stop, just stand still for me for a second. Um, I'm just gonna use return to send it as well. Oh god. What the hell is going on? Oh god, I'm out of ammo. Where is she? There is she. There she is! Ammo, take it! Catch, Booker! Much obliged. It's all I've got! I'm just gonna use all the bullets I can get and use it on her. Oh shit, yeah, I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna die, yeah. Don't die. I have nothing left. I don't have anything left. Stop respawning me. Duh. I need another weapon. Wow, they spawned me back. I need another weapon and I need... I got a bit of salts back, that is something. And a bit of ammo. It's not gonna help me much, is it? I think I'm gonna have to use... There's a few skyhooks around here as well, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, I am mistaken. Oh, gold. I hate these fights. I hate these fights with, with Lady Comstock. Oh! God, my Jesus. Oh, she's still... Jesus, Jesus, stop me off. For fuck's sake, this is not working. This is not working at all. I am constantly dying. So, let's try this differently. Let's try this with Devil's Kiss and Bucking Bronco. Let's try to remember the buttons as well, because I'm just fucking up everything over here. Where the fuck is she? Did I do enough damage right at the end there? Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I die for nothing? Yeah. Okay. Never you mind, I'm just gonna loot the place again so I can get a bit of stuff back. So, restocked on ammo, restocked on a few other things, so uh, not my best performance, but uh, that's in the past, so uh, let's keep going and let's leave the bank again. So, back outside. Um, we're still gonna have to follow Lady Comstock's footsteps. Because now that we know all the truths that we could, we're gonna have a, a bit of a bigger problem. I don't wanna fight you again. I really don't wanna fight you again. But I think 
I just need to return to the statue again. So give me a second. I actually missed a shop in the market district, apparently. Seems to be pretty stocked on uh, money and the like. And almonds. Let's eat some almonds. There's a can of beans and bean and beans in the almonds for some reason, but yeah, I'm just gonna heal up through that then. Nothing in there, and then we have another piece of gear. Drop cloth. Landing off a skyline increases movement speed 50% faster for five seconds. Just gonna take it, not equip it because it's not that useful to me. Um and then there's more food. Just gonna leave all of that over there, and let's head towards the graveyard again. He killed Lady Comstock. Tessus. And anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some specimen to be poked and prodded. No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world deserves that. Booker. We are getting out of here. You got it? You're never gonna have to look back. We are getting out of here, and that is exactly what we're gonna do. So let's see if Lady Comstock is a bit happier now that we know all that. Because I have a feeling she's not. So there's a lot more corpses than there were before. More money. Catch me. Which uh, might indicate that something else has happened here while we left. So let's try. you both because of me i know you hate me for not being your daughter and i hated you for not being my mother okay now what you're, you're really i'm glad you're making amends with her but i think she uh she's still not really happy about it hello <laughs> I hate this fight, I hate this fight, I hate this fight. I'm dying again, come on. Nice! Where the hell am I even getting hit from? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, fuck off. I'm out of mm, yeah. sure thing. Do 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 shield. Need more time. Go ahead. There you go. I need to kill her. I need to kill her. Take it. Much obliged. Yeah, thank you. Oh jeez, that was right on time. Open it! Okay. I think that's it. Do my Take this from my heart. Oh my god. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. I owe you an apology. Comstock used me to bring you back, but I brought back a version of you from the reality that I had built up in my own head. He pretended to love you, like he pretended to love me. Bastard child. I am not your husband's bastard. I am his victim. My days of victimhood are done. We must forgive each other. Because there is one far worse than you. Right. The prophet killed me because you wouldn't keep his secret about me. If that's so, then why am I alive? Not, not in this. 
this world. Maybe this is you in another. A world where you never meet him. Or where I saved him. I don't know. Is that possible? Find out, child. Find out. You're welcome. And there we go. The way is open. But before we do that, before we go to Comstock House, I um, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It's gonna, probably going to have been a, a bit of a longer episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it right here on the YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're going to head to that lovely building. Yeah, behind this building. You can't really see it right now. But uh, I guess I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.